In life, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. But when your wife sleeps with your best friend, can you trust her again? We've been married for 17 years. I think we are at a crossroads. It's really hard these days for a couple to be together. You know, for life, really hard. I think we just don't really have much of a romantic spark just now. US Army Special Forces Captain Mike Hawke is a trained interrogator and a survival expert with a master's degree in psychology. Using his military training, he's devised a set of exercises to test couples to their breaking point. Every relationship has secrets, but if they try to hide them from me and lie to me, with my interrogator background, I'm gonna bust them down. He believes his techniques will enable them to discover if their relationship can be fixed. TV journalist Ruth England has filmed in some of the world's most dangerous locations. An adventure junkie, she thrives on pressure and she finally met her match when she fell in love with Mike. Will you listen to me and do things that I say? <laughs> Marriage can be a bit of a battle, but they believe you can save yourself years of rowing with a bit of tough love. I think the real issue going on here, at least for Alan, is I think it's something psychosexual. It'd be interesting, maybe I could learn a little more about our relationship. What I felt he was doing to upset me, I think, was the bullying and lack of, um, lack of attention. This is therapy with a difference. Forget the couch and grab your combats. I just want to go down. It's marriage guidance, jungle style. Oh, this is not going to be good, Alan. Oh. I can't kill a rabbit. Oh, no way, no. I can't do it. OK, thanks, boss. Okay, Nikki, I've got you. Trust me. Yeah. Teeny, teeny ones, just like that. That's it. Uh, okay. uh, that's okay. You're okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, look. Shit. You're good. You're good. You're good. Love test one. Who's the boss? Mike and Ruth believe extreme situations can quickly get to the heart of the matter and can uncover the cracks in any relationship. Let's go do the first thing we're going to do, which is going to be build a hooch or make a shelter. Oh. Ah. I knew it was going to be amazing. Ah. So all about home building. I think the children would do much better at this than us, to be honest. To be a good leader, you've got to know what it is to be a subordinate. So, so chop some wood with lots of leaves on, and that's yeah. it, boss. Yeah. OK, thanks, boss. I'm sensing that the, when you, the way you say boss is slightly sort of sarcastic and patronizing. You know, boss. Oh. Well, I'm not used to these feminist ideas. <laughs> I would say, flat out, you suck as a supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Love test two. Are you a good listener? We're now going to make a tent. You ain't going to be able to do anything but listen, because you can't see. Erection instructions. <laughs> Sorry, um, I can't really work it out. Give it a try. The worst that can happen is that you have to uh, start again. Love test three, working as a team. Now, you guys are to remain tied together. I'm still the boss, remember? Will they either accept that they're in it together and work as a team, get it done, or will they fight? Hang on a minute, there's a great big bit of pole sticking out here. Surely it should be equal. <laughs> Love test four, the chicken or your wife. It's going to make me really unhappy if you kill that chicken, Ellen. It's quite an extreme way of helping us, you know, with our relationship. It's all right, as long as you do it with respect. You grab the head and the neck yeah. and you swing really hard. Nikki, mm. stay calm. Nikki, <laughs> Nikki. I'd like you to say no. I'd like you to say no and not think, oh, yeah, you know, cool Mike wants me to kill a chicken. I want you to do what I... I... I will not kill the chicken. OK, we're not going to kill what? the chicken. I was only pulling your chain just to test you and you stuck to your guns. So guys, good job, you work together. <laughs> oh, the non-killing exercise was pivotal. Nikki broke down, she really didn't want to do it and she didn't want Alan to do it. So when push came to shove, he actually supported Nikki and I think that's his way of saying how much he really loves her. Love test five, where's the spark? I like it. The fire exercise is all about nurturing, patience, all right, that's good. With only three matches, how long will it take? 
This time they have got the same common goal. You can see it's absolutely chucking down, it's cold, it's wet. They have a vested interest in getting this done and they're working together. All right, that's good. You guys are doing good. Real good. Keep that going, keep that going. Sweet. Nikki, you should be euphoric. We have fire, we have heat. <laughs> yep. Love to have sex, once bitten, twice shy. We're gonna do a little trust building on this here thing. Let's go! Yeah, I'm sailing, Nikki. This is brilliant! Someone go with me. Love is a battlefield, and out in the wilds, all the cracks are exposed. You got burned and you're holding back. Instead of just saying, hey, you know what? Until I open up and let her know I trust her again, she's always gonna be upset. That's that's a woman thing. Okay, Nikki, I've got you. Don't worry, I've got you. All right, talk to her now. Let there go. go. One hand, good. And now second hand. Let go. Let go. You. That was just brilliant. That was all about trusting Alan, and she did it. She's halfway down a rock face, and she let go. That's incredible. You're done. You're nearly there. Good job. You don't need a cigarette. You don't need a cigarette. Come on. Okay. Who's okay. Got a you don't need a cigarette. Shut you don't need a cigarette. Come on. Go away. Even though he was brimming with pride, he just couldn't bring himself to say it. Don't drop me, Nikki. Shit. I'm quite exhausted, I think. You know, talking about relationships whilst also being terrified at the same time is draining, you know, physically and mentally, I think. Their love is on the rocks still. There's no doubt about that. But I think the cycle has been broken. It's going to be up to them if they pick up the pieces or if they chuck them down a mountain.